Happy good morning and welcome to a brutally honest Buff Bunny Swim 2021 review. If you remember, it didn't go so well last year. This is, this is a criminal act. You can read my fingerprints through this. Imagine the bottoms. Actually, don't. So we're gonna see if some improvements were made. This stuff is all launching this weekend, this Saturday. And here are all the time zones. And we are going to start with this, because to be honest, I'm terrified of these bottoms. You'll see why. And make sure to stick around till the end because we're gonna be doing the swim test, the final ratings, and the price. I do have a support code with Buff Bunny that you can plug in at checkout. There's a little little support and affiliate box there. If you don't use it, it's totally fine. I'm just happy you're here. You know the drill, the 15 minute drill. I'm picking a couple of you that leave a nice comment in the first 15 minutes of the video is up to send a $100 Buff Bunny gift card to that you can use to shop the launch this weekend if you want to or just buy leggings because I know I'm gonna be wearing those a lot more than swimsuits this summer. <laughs> I just wanted to say a quick thank you to those of you that left comments about being so excited about my pregnancy. But um, I'm not pregnant. Not currently, never was. Uh, so this is just your friendly reminder to never ever assume that. You never know what someone's situation is. For me, it's just, you know, a little bit of weight gain, some gut issues. Just thought I'd clear the air there. Let's talk about the bottoms though, because these are the ones that I was afraid of. They're called the Shark Bite Swim Bottom. And they are called that, I'm assuming because they have this little, you can see it better when they're not on, but they dip down in the front, which freaked me out when I saw it. Like I, I actually love it. I panicked after I filmed this and I saw them post this picture, thinking I was wearing this backwards the entire time. Turns out they're reversible. The sides give you that high-waisted look that a lot of us like, but I feel like the V cut elongates your torso at the same time. These bottoms are probably a little, all of them, are probably a little cheekier on me than they would be most people. I have a pretty big butt. Here are my measurements that you can use for reference. I threw my weight on there too. I haven't done that in a very long time. I never wanted my videos to really focus on that number ever. This is 166 pounds. It's not a before weight, not a starting weight, it's just, that's just my weight right now. So I know there are probably some of you watching that are like a similar size, similar weight. And it just feels like you don't see a lot of people talking about their weight that are mid-size, whatever you wanna call it. By the way, their stuff is available in extra, extra small, two, three XL. Okay, let's talk about this top. When I saw the Buff Bunny was coming out with swimwear, this is what I was picturing. It's not what they delivered last year. <laughs> this is a swimsuit I know I'm gonna wear all the time. I love how high it comes up on the neck and then it has removable cup pads. And the back is so cute. I love this lace up detail and I feel like it's a really good way to make this top a little bit adjustable, but like still easy to put on if you're by yourself, you know what I mean? I was also really excited about this top because one of my all time favorite pairs of leggings is made from the same print, which is all restocking, same time as these swimsuits come out, by the way. It usually sells out incredibly fast, so just a little note if you're interested. These bottoms are moderately compressing and they're brushed. I like a small top, medium bottom in these. The swim, it's pretty soft, more of a matte feel. Not brushed like the leggings are though. I'm wearing a small in this top, love how it fits. I'm thrilled with this first one. One pieces, here we go. The Venice one piece. I feel like it might be a little bit hard to see the details on this black one. So it has this little, <laughs> I was gonna call it piping, but that's for a cape. Whatever you call that. It actually is called piping or a piped seam. <laughs> it creates this cute little V. And then there's a seam in the middle, which I really like, really draws attention to your waist. I think it's meant to be kind of a mid coverage, slightly cheeky. This is good. This is kind of like my ideal that I'm super comfortable with level of coverage. I'm wearing a medium in this. And I actually really like how it fits. A lot of one pieces are too short for my torso, but this one's doing good and I love, love the back of this one. All the straps are adjustable. They're a tiny bit thin, which scares me a little bit. We don't want any mishaps at the beach. Removable cup pads. This is a step up from the one piece that I got from them last year. <laughs> you can tell it's been in storage for a year. <laughs> this is the pleat the fifth, and obviously some people liked it because they're bringing it back again this year. <laughs> I, it just wasn't my favorite. It's really shiny and slippery and almost like costumey feeling. And I know it's not a cheaply made swimsuit, but the fabric just made it feel like it, it is. Whereas this is like just a true matte finish, super high quality fabric. And then the other one I got, Laguna. I love this one. It's nothing like 
crazy, nothing super flashy. Got a medium in this one as well. Just has the zip front, high coverage, cramps. Just had to take a couple deep breaths there. Did I mention I'm not pregnant? <laughs> it's just practical and I am to the phase in my life, a 20 something year old lady that I like practical swimsuits. <laughs> Back when I did used to travel, I like scuba diving, I like swimming and play and catch on the beach. <laughs> so I want a swimsuit that's gonna be able to keep up with me and I know this one would. The zipper actually does lock into place too, which is nice. It actually has like a super subtle striped texture to the fabric. Which yeah, this one's great. Okay, the next set. It was the one I was the most excited about when I saw pictures. And now that I have it, I'm a little worried. I have it in two colors, but I'm gonna try on the red for you because you're probably sick of the black. Oh, I'm sad about it. Okay, so surfer bottom, beach party swim tee. <laughs> I was stoked about this because once again, practical. It's the dang fabric. It's that shiny, slippery, this fabric. And I just, it's just not my favorite. I really wish they would have done it in one of these other materials. You can just see every little wrinkle. I feel like the pad looks weird. <laughs> yeah, are you seeing what I'm seeing? That something's just off about the fabric. The bottoms are just kind of rolling up. So they were meant to be more of a full coverage bottom. I feel like they end up not being on me at least. I just feel like this cut of a bottom would have been so cute, so solid, had it been with the other material that's a little bit more compressive. This top also has this drawstring on the bottom, which is just there. It doesn't really appear to have a functional purpose. Okay, chasing waterfalls. I swear this swimsuit was in my video last year, but I can't find it. But they brought it back, wearing a medium bottom and a small top. It's not my favorite on me. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Cheeky cut on the bottom. I don't think this is gonna be a functional one. I think this is more not wanting to keep the girls up in place. This is made from a ribbed material, so very different from any of the other ones. Removable cup pads. I don't know. I just, there's other bikinis I would pick before this one for sure. Uh, I do like this color though. This super pretty dark green is Jumanji. And then I also have the lavender. Colors, amazing. Swimsuit, all right. <laughs> no, but I love this color. Like I'll wear the swimsuit just for the color. Okay, I have one more bikini. Guys, I think this is my first yellow swimsuit, which is crazy. It's in the color Mai Tai. I think that's how you say it. Making waves bikini top and shallow end bottom. I like both of these a lot. Fabric that I like. Top is super supportive, almost like sports bra -y feeling, removable cut pads. And it's just like super simple. When I'm going for a bikini bottom that's not high waisted, I actually kind of prefer these ones that tie on the side. Cause then you can adjust how much it's digging in. Wearing a small top and a medium bottom, I almost, maybe I could have done a small. I think there's some weird extra fabric. So this is the lightest color that I have. Cause I know last year we had a bit of a fiasco with the white. They're not doing white again. <laughs> the lightest color that they're doing this time is the mojito, which is fine. I water tested that one and it's good. So I don't think we should have any issues with stuff going see-through. <laughs> Today is the day that we test all of these out. My gym actually has a super nice pool, which I had never been in until this day. I figured it would be a little bit better of a place to test these than my bathtub again. The Venice One Piece, I really liked it. Very high quality. It's just very cheeky coverage, which I became hyper aware of once I was in public in it. <laughs> it's gonna be $72. I love everything about the Laguna One Piece. It's very sporty, very functional. Also $72. Not a big fan of these when they were dry and definitely not a big fan of these when they're wet. $48 and $44 is a lot of money for these two. I loved this Make and Waves top, definitely worth it. The shallow end bottoms on the other hand just don't seem to fit me quite right, especially once they were wet. I wish the shark bite bottoms came in this color. Speaking of the shark bite bottoms, love both of these pieces. I will definitely be packing this set on any trip. For sure worth it to me. And the Chasing Waterfall is really cute, but definitely more of a loungy set. I think you could find something similar for less expensive somewhere else. So I would only get this one if you're absolutely in love with one of the colors. These swimsuits are the ones that have my official stamp of approval. These two were cute, but I could take them or leave them. And this one was just a no, unfortunately. Fastest drying suits seem to be the Chasing Waterfall set and then the Venice One Piece. I hope you found this review helpful. If you did, we got reviews for days you can go check out. And Leo and I will see you guys over in the next one. Say bye, YouTube.